Welcome back to Stats and Packs for Friday, July 14th of 2023. Alright, welcome back. It's uh, Friday, it's Thursday when we're filming this, but for Friday video, we're going to talk a little bit about who's leading what in the team stuff after Rebecca starts pulling out a pack. Alright, we got a five. So we're going to, we want to get an archives because we haven't opened that stuff yet, so we're going to go, probably won't get one, but let's see. Two, three. Oh, we got three. 2023 Top Series 1. All right, we'll let her pull a card pack out of there. Tampa Bay's up in AL East, third, first place. Cleveland's uh, 45 and 45 in the Central. And in the AL West, it's the Texas Rangers. In the NL East, it's the Atlanta Braves with a 60 and 29 record, best in the bigs. Central, it's a surprise. Cincinnati Reds at 50 and 41. And in the West, it's LA and Arizona tied for first place. All right. Let's see what she got here. She got pack number six. Yep. Right. Since we haven't been able to get number one, we might just open that in the video all on its own. All right, open that and let's see what we can get out of here. Pack odds on these are not that good, but it's still something we can open and have fun with and talk about baseball. CJ Crone. Now, he went to the same college I did, the University of Utah. And... He played for the Los Angeles Angels at one time. So, let's see what we can get. CJ Crone, playing for the Colorado Rockies now. Alright. This 2023 stats, there we go. 172 at bats, 24 runs, 42 hits, 7 home runs, 23 RBIs, no swing base with a 244 average. Not so good on the 244 and stuff. He's kind of down statistically. We'll put him over here in the maybe pile. Keybert Ruiz. All right, Kiebert Ruiz. He is still with the Nationals. 283 at bats, 24 runs, 64 hits, 9 home runs, 31 RBIs, no swim base with a 226 average. Nope, not doing so well. 226, that's way below what it needs to be. Luis Garcia. This guy right there. I don't know why there's so many different Luis Garcias here. That's the one. All right. Two wins, two losses, four errors, six games, six games started. 27 innings pitched with 31 strikeouts. 60-day injured list. So he's on the 60-day IL, which means he's out for quite a while. All right, put him over here. Juan Soto. All right, he started off really bad. Some people think that the pitch clock got him all flustered with his, what they call a Soto shuffle. It takes him forever to get into the box and get set. But he's doing a little bit better. 309 at-bats, 51 runs, 82 hits, 15 home runs, 47 RBIs, 6 on base with a 265 average. I'll say one thing about Juan Soto. He has shown flashes of brilliance in the, the plate to where... He should be a 300-plus batter. We're going to put him up there just for funsies. Yadiel Hernandez. But one thing about Juan Soto, he is still very young. And Yadiel Hernandez, he may be out of baseball because he doesn't have any... Stats whatsoever for this year. Let's look on minor league baseball and see if he's there. And then we will check that out. But we're getting, that's our second Nationals card there. All right.
All right, Yadiel Hernandez. All right, let's see if he's on MILB. Uh, he doesn't look like it. All right. No, looks like he's off in Mexico or something like that. Look, it says Monterey, so he's out. Not doing anything. He's 35 years old, too, so... Gregory Soto. I don't know what kind of time he had. He only had a 267 batting average, and I'm not sure how many years he was actually in the big leagues. Gregory Soto. All right. Two wins, four losses, 4.32 ERA, 38 games, no game started, 33.1 innings pitched with 37 strikeouts, and he's with the Phillies. All right, so he's changed teams there, so nobody to write home about. Vladimir Gutierrez. That's Cincinnati Reds. All right. Vladimir Gutierrez. And he is on the 60-day injured list. So he hasn't played a single game this year. So so he hasn't been any help at all with the team. So, you know, they've been doing it without him. Jordan Alvarez. And he's a really good player. I don't know about this year, but he average, yeah. 202 at-bats, 41 runs, 56 hits. 17 home runs, 55 RBIs, no stone base with a 277 average. Okay, yeah. Looks like he won the ALCS MVP last year and World Series champ from last year. Put him up there. Corbin Burns. Oh, yeah, that's a nice card. All right, I don't know what he's doing this year, but those they did an A-plus job on the Aces stuff this year. Seven wins, five losses, 3.94 ear rate, 18 games, 18 games started, 107.1 innings pitched with 102 strikeouts. I'm going to put that on the stand because it's just a cool looking card. Juan Soto, stars of MLB. And we don't need to go through that, but what we'll do is go like this. And then we'll let people read the information on the back of it. Is he still really young? He's like 23, 24 years old. Put that up there. Kyle Bradish. All right. What we do when my son does his stuff, he does NASCAR stuff, and we get double cards, and he's looking at it. He has the sound of wah, 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 or boo, or something like that, because we don't like, you know, getting two, to, two of the same player in one pack is not that good. Five wins, four losses, 3.32 ERA, 16 games, 16 games started, 84 innings pitched with 79 strikeouts. All right. The win-loss could be better. We're going to put impossible pile. Brady Singer. And the Kansas City Royals are not good at all this year. So I don't know what people think of Bobby with this junior this year, but he's not much help for the team either. Five wins, eight losses, 5.8 ear rate, 18 games, 18 games started, 94.2 innings pitched with 77 strikeouts. Nope. What do you think of that? No good. That's a high ERA, so he's going in the no pile today. Just, uh, yep. Yeah. Seth Lugo. And I would say that the Mets have been kind of a disappointment this year. They have lots of talent. But maybe they need, like some people suggest, they need a younger pitching staff when you got Verlander and Scherzer who are at the end of their careers. Three wins, four losses, 3.39 ear rate, 12 games, 12 games started, 63.2 innings pitched with 59 strikeouts, and he's with the Padres. All right, so he's not with the Mets this year. All right. Jesus Sanchez. And the Miami Marlins. They're in a bad situation when you have to go against the Braves. But they do have Luis Arise there, and we're still hoping he can bat 400 this year. That would be so awesome. 183 at-bats, 23 runs, 47 hits, 9 home runs, 32 RBIs, 3 stolen base with a 
57 average. Just kind of a so-so year there. So yeah, my favorite card has got to be the Corbin Burns uh, Aces card. That is a slick looking card. But yeah, let us know what your favorite card is and what you any predictions you have for the second half of the season. Will Luis Arise hit 400? Uh, is uh, what is it? Ronald Acuna Jr. going to still try to get the 40-40 club, 40 stolen bases, 40 home runs? Um, he's the front runner right now uh, do you, for the NL MVP. What about Corbin Carroll? Uh, is he going to still perform and become the rookie of the year for the NL? Um, whatever other predictions you think will happen for the end of the season. Uh, will the Rays stop their slide they had going into the All-Star break? Uh Will they relinquish the lead they've got on the All-Star or on their division? Uh, any other things you want to comment about what you think the rest of the year will be? And put those in the comments. Please comment, like, and subscribe. I'll be back on Monday with more stats and packs. All right. Thanks for watching and have a great weekend.